hi there welcome to the first video on wordpress on cloud series and in this video we will see how to uh, set up ubuntu 22 server on aws ec2 and uh, we will also see how to connect it using command prompt and also using putty software so first of all we need to go to so from wherever you are in aws console search for ec2 and uh, then go to running instance and uh, one more thing is that make sure that uh, you are your region is closest to your audience for demo purpose i'm just choosing us east one and once you have selected correct region then we can proceed so to launch instance just click on this launch instance button and here you can give name to your server i'm giving wordpress and uh, in os i'm going to choose ubuntu 22 older versions are also available and if you had created a new account recently these two are available for free trial and in instance type if you are a new account like if you are recently created a new account on aws then you should go with t2 micro however if you have account uh, which is old and uh, you don't want to go with uh, that old t2 family then just go for t3a.micro which is one gb server but new family from aws and it's also cheaper than t2 micro and then in next step uh, we need to create key pair which we will use uh, to connect to our server ec2 instance so I will just give this name as WordPress hyphen blog and I will download it in .pem format uh, so that we can uh, use it in both command prompt and put it. And in next step, uh, we are going to allow HTTP and HTTPS traffic. Uh, so that our uh, server can talk to internet and in storage i'm keeping gate gb but uh, if you have more requirements you can increase for advanced we are not going to do anything this is our configuration name and then ami type ami stands for amazon machine image and this is the one which we had selected and in instance type i have selected t3a.micro and this is the ssh key pair which i had generated and in security group i had enabled both http and https traffic along with ssh traffic which is uh, at port 22. now i'm just going to launch the instance and it will be spawned within a few minutes so now if i go back to instances and uh, i can filter the running instance so yeah this is the instance which we created and it's initializing and uh, also we got uh, this public ip address so one more thing is important that this ip address which is attached to ec2 right now is ephemeral in nature so if you shut down instance for some time and then start again then this will be changed so uh, each time if you are hosting site on this server then uh, you may need to change this uh, ip address in your dns uh, control panel every time so to deal with we will attach one elastic ip with this 
instance so that uh, on uh, restart or shutdown uh, your instance does not lose its IP address so for that here in left side panel we need to search for elastic IPs under network and security you can find elastic IPs and in elastic IPs we can allocate new elastic IP and then we can associate this with our new this instance WordPress blog and this is private IP address of that blog and uh, you can keep it checked or unchecked that does not matter much here and now it's associated so this is the new IP address I will just note it down and if I go back to EC2 again if I see here that IP address should reflect here yeah now it's reflecting I refreshed and this is a elastic IP address which is reflecting here but uh, one important thing to note here is that uh, once elastic IP is attached to your instance it's uh, free of cost uh, but if you deassociate it and uh, do not release it and then it's going to cost you some amount per hour uh, so make sure that when you are deleting this um, server or instance uh, you also uh, release that elastic IP from this elastic IP section uh, for that you can just go here and uh, release elastic IP address you can just release it later once if you want to delete if you want to delete this instance okay now it's showing me running state and status as 2 slash 2 so first i will uh, show how to connect using uh, windows command prompt or uh, github bash then we will see how to use putty so to use uh, cmd first of all we will type ssh and then i hyphen i and then we will uh, use the path of our dot pem file which we have downloaded so if i go to downloads and uh, if i refresh yeah so i will just copy path of this pem file and then i will just paste it here and the second thing which we need is this ip address and since we had chosen ubuntu os so by default it creates new user ubuntu and the ip address so this will be the command which we use to connect from command prompt of both windows or linux or uh, git base when I connect, it will ask if I trust this host. And yeah, now I'm connected. Now, if I do sudo yes, then it will connect me as root. Yeah. So that's how we can use command prompt to connect to this instance. Now we will see how we can use putty. So to use putty first of all we need to convert this dot pem file to dot uh, ppk file which is uh, which is the file uh, putty uses so for that i will just search for putty gen i had already installed putty you can download it from its official site so after opening putty i will click on load and then i will click on all files and then i will select my wordpress blog and it will say that successfully imported foreign key and then uh, it will provide you option to save your uh, key in dot ppk format and uh, i will save it as uh, save only private key because public key we are not required right now so one thing is that if when i try to save here it asks me for passphrase uh, so passphrase is uh, 
you can say kind of key for this SSH key. So suppose somebody store your uh, this private key, uh, then without using passphrase, uh, he or she can't uh, use this key. So I will just provide here, but if you want, you can just skip. Okay, then I will save it. I will save it as same name, WordPress block. But in, this time I will keep WordPress block dot PPK. So extension will be PPK this time. Yeah, it's saved now. And uh, now I will open Putty. We don't need this Putty gen anymore. And in Putty, I will just copy IP address and username for my server and paste it here and then i will go to connection and then i will increase keep a lifetime to 120 seconds uh, so that it do not disconnect frequently and then i will expand this connection ssh auth and then credentials in credentials i will select the ppk file which i had just created pk stands for putty private key file you can select and then just hit open button again it's asking accept and then it's asking for passphrase so at that step if i had not provided passphrase then it will not ask but since i had provided so i will enter and my passphrase is trick sumo so you, i enter and yeah it worked and now similar to your uh, command prompt here also you can use it so yeah these these were only things which we need to do so to just recap what we did uh, we created ubuntu server on aws and then we associated one elastic ip to that server and then we saw how to uh, you uh, use command prompt to connect to that server and we also saw how to use putty to connect to that server now in next part we will see uh, how to install wordpress on that server and also we will see how we can use filezilla to upload or edit files so yeah thanks